Hello everyone, I'm Andre from Kids Code. Today I'm going to show you how to protect an exercise area and by doing so you're going to prevent other users from destroying it. Let's get started. To protect an area you need the world edit hammer, so pick it up from your inventory. Open the teacher menu, go to general options, then click the globe in order to open the world edit menu. Left click the world edit hammer, select it, then left click any block you want. This will be our starting point, and now let's go all the way to the other side of this building and this time right click another block. I'm taking this one because it's high enough to cover pretty much all the theater. When you're done, go back to your world edit menu, select area protection and right here start by giving a name to your area. Let's call it area 1. Then you can also add another owner for the area. Let's say you're collaborating on a project with a colleague or a friend of yours and you want them to be able to place or break blocks inside this building. So just type in their kids code username right here and don't forget to press the add owner button. A message will tell you if the owner has been added successfully. And now simply confirm your changes by clicking the protect area button and that's it. Nobody except my friend Paul and I will be able to break our building or place anything inside of it. Now if you have a coding exercise for example that needs to be protected, follow the same previous steps and here you'll see some extra options you can select. For instance, you can let users break blocks within the area but they won't be able to place anything inside or it can be the other way around. And you can also tell the game if the kid spot will be placed in free mode meaning that users can place the kid spot anywhere they want inside the area or they have to put it in exercise mode meaning the kid spot has to be placed on top of an A block. And here I am, connected as a regular user without teacher or map maker privileges inside a protected area. I cannot break anything as the message says in the upper left corner so always remember to protect your areas before submitting your worlds to our Teach the World program. These are simple steps you need to follow to prevent anyone from cheating in your exercises or your escape games. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial, I hope it was useful to you. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and tutorials and try out KidsCode for free by registering an account on KidsCode.com. Stay creative and see you soon on KidsCode.